Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 4th, 2022. Well, we had a little bit of selling coming into the end of last week, but nothing major. As a matter of fact, I have to say that the bulls are still holding relatively strong patterns here in the chart. But we do have this bond yield inversion that's starting to create some concerns in the overall market. And we will want to be paying attention to that if this continue, situation continues to worsen. So to give you an idea, this morning our two-year bonds are trading at 2.44%. Our five-year bonds are at 2.57%. That's great because those are in line. But unfortunately, our 10-year bond is a trading at 2.40, four basis points behind the two-year, and our 30-year bonds are trading at 2.47, a full um, 10 basis points behind the five year. So we have this two and five or two and ten inversion, the five and thirty inversion, and all of those are creating a little bit of worry and concern about recession because that does signal recession may be around the corner. But let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today on this Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can, well, decide how we want to approach this market with a relatively light economic calendar and a light earnings calendar this week as we start off the first full trading week of this quarter. If we take a look at that downtrend right there, we've broken that downtrend pretty substantially here in the diamonds chart, and we continue to hold price support levels. Although we did have you know, some pretty heavy selling going into the weekend, it picked up just right there in the last few minutes of the day, pushing back up and leaving us in a relatively good bullish situation here in the market. Now, if I had my if I had my way, what we would see in the market is a full week of just almost go nowhere, very very tight consolidation where we just rest here and spill off some of this volatility that we've seen in the price action. I rarely get what I want. But that being said, I, I think we do have to continue to watch carefully for some high implied volatility as um, the sensitivity to these geopolitical concerns and this bond yield inversion could create you know, some back and forth here in the market. Let's take a look at our um, technicals on the chart. Here again, we're doing pretty well with our prices holding above the 50-day moving average. Notice we came down there and came close to a test of that, and our shorter-term averages are crossing up through. So we have a little bit of a price support in here in price and technicals. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. But unfortunately, we had that failure at the 200-day. So Mm, it, it, it's a toss-up. We could go either direction here, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. If we take a look at our SPY, very much the same situation here in the SPY. We are still quite elevated, however, overall with the big surge in tech stocks. We're still quite elevated here in that price, but I got to say, um, holding supports in here clearly and trying to um, remain very, very bullish here in the market, very stubbornly bullish um, in the market, despite some of those internal numbers in the market showing that economy could be slowing. So we'll wanna watch that closely and see if we can continue to hold in this area and there'd be every reason to believe that we could. Um, as a matter of fact, again, I would like to see a nice little resting consolidation out here because honestly, I don't think this kind of a steep, um, rally can be sustained um, much longer. We'll need some more consolidation or rest here in the market. Um, however, that said, if we take a look um, here um, in our technicals, we're holding bullishly. 
we're back above that 200-day moving average. Notice our shorter-term moving average are crossing up through that 50, providing that support in here, maybe pushing up to provide a nice little zone of support here in the chart right through that area. So just watch that carefully. We can't rule out the volatility, but just um, just watch that. If we can hold these support levels, I got to give that up to the bulls. If we take a look at the QQQ, same thing here in the Qs. Nice little pullback here in the chart, but you'll want to notice here that we're holding on to these price support levels. Um, no, no harm, no foul here at the moment. Uh, once again, I will say that that's kind of a steep. Um, trend and unlikely that we can sustain that trend if we were to bounce right up and push through to the upside today but let's keep a close eye on it there's every reason to believe that the bulls are strong enough to hold this um, right now and our technicals in this chart also continue to, imp to improve we do have a challenge here at that 200 day moving average but notice the shorter terms crossing up through and um, it does kind of make you wonder how much longer we can ignore the bond yield inversion and we may get um, quite a bit of Fed speak this week, so um, that could also create some of that volatility to be careful of. Let's take a look at our um, IWM. Now, the Russell pulled back and did a good job. In fact, it was it, it was stubbornly bullish all day on Friday when the rest of the indexes were pulling back. We did have that negative reaction to that resistance up here, but we are holding firmly in here on this support. So once again, if we could just rest out here, as a matter of fact, if you notice right there, if I draw that trend right there, if we were to rest all the way out here toward this trend, I think honestly that would be a good thing for the market to get rid of some of this wild swinging volatility and probably help out a lot of traders um, in, in the uh, at the same time. But let's keep a close eye on that. And by the way, if we did do something like that, we would just kind of slide out from under that downtrend holding that support in here would be very very bullish for the russell we'll see if we can get something like that but like i said i rarely get what i want in the market and um, we'll want to watch for that volatility in here as well let's take a look at our vix now, interestingly enough, on that pullback that we have seen yet on Friday, we had quite a bit of selling that was in there initially, but on that last few minutes of surge back up in the market, we calmed that back down. So here we are holding below the 20 handle in the chart, and I think that is bullish for the market as long as we can hold on um, to this you know, resting consolidation maybe, or uh, continued bullishness, we could continue to see that fear drop here in the market. I, I do, however, think it may be a little bit on the complacency side, um, considering the market internals and the um, issues that we're seeing in that bond deal inversion. But we're gonna have to just kinda stay on our toes and watch this carefully, because it could be just one of those things that trigger us that finally um, either move us sharply higher or break us down. So just be kind of careful here. And if we look at our T2122, now T2122, remember guys, has is very, very accurate in picking the tops and the bottoms um, of the chart. We can see in here when we've reached a, an overbought condition, and we can certainly see when we've reached a, an oversold condition. But when we're kind of in the middle of the range here, um, it doesn't really tell us much of anything, except for the fact that we have the potential for some pretty big moves. As you can see, if we can find some bullishness here today, then we have that opportunity that we could push back up into this area. But once again, if those bears find reason um, to engage, we still have pretty good downside potential here in those in the chart. So remember, if we could get just a resting consolidation, that would be very, very bullish for the market. And maybe that resting consolidation would pull us back a little bit, but not necessarily say that we fall out of bed here. So watch that close. Um, we know that T2122 is pretty good at calling those tops and bottoms in these swings. But when we're in the middle here, we just have to realize anything is possible. Let's take a look at um, our 
economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar is a light one this week, and um, we're going to get a lot of Fed speak in here. Let me shrink this up just a little bit so you can see the full thing. Um, as you can see here, not much going on here today. We've got some factory orders here this morning. Not exactly a big market moving, um, you know, event um, on for a Monday morning, but certainly can move us around a little bit. So we'll want to watch that here this morning. We have international trading goods. That's been one of the one of the numbers that we have just relatively ignored, even though our trade deficits just continue to worsen. Um, we just kind of ignore it. So maybe we can continue to do that. We've got ISM services. Wednesday might be one of the more volatile days as we get the FOMC um, out there. We will want to take note that we've got quite a few Fed speakers throughout the week. And um, we will also hear from our more hawkish Fed members here this week um, that will likely be pushing for... Um, substantially more aggressiveness in the Fed. So we'll want to listen for that. And then we've got uh, jobless claims like we'd usually do on Friday and virtually nothing coming in there or on Thursday and virtually nothing coming in on Friday. So that Fed balance sheet, we're taking over $9 trillion in Fed debt. But again, we don't seem to care about that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for the week. Now, our earnings calendar is going to be substantially light. Um, not a big surprise. We have quite a few companies listed on the calendar today, but we really only have three verified reports here on the day. And if we take a look at those uh, verified reports here at the moment, and this is probably going to be changing. Um, and the reason I say um, it's probably going to be changing throughout the day is because when we're doing these really tiny small caps, they tend to pop in and pop out of the calendar um, uh, as they uh, confirm or not confirm or, or say, no, we're sliding another day or something like that. So um, ATC um, reporting today, um, INCR will be reporting today and um, SRAX um, are confirmed reports for today. So keep an eye on those. Not exactly the kind of things that will be moving the market around substantially. And remember, It'll likely stay pretty much like that until we approach the um, the um, big release of uh, second quarter earnings uh, beginning. So watch that closely. Now, first quarter earnings, they seem to spread those out over the entire first quarter, um, dragging them out forever, it seems like. But second quarter earnings, they tend to tighten those up and they'll come at a very high speed. Um, so we'll get through them a little bit uh, faster, usually in the second quarter. Let's take a look at um, some of the charts that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon. It's it's possible this week we'll go over 27,000 subscribers. And thank you so much for um, everyone who supports uh, the content of the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you also to those continuing to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link. There is a high probability of a little of a, um, of a live event coming up this week. Um, um, I will get that scheduled and get that out. I finally have a little bit of a um, um, little bit of time um, showing up in my schedule here. So we'll see if we can get something done on that live event. Let's take a quick look here at um, some of these stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, if if you uh, don't do your own due diligence in the charts, if you don't follow your own risk tolerances, um, well, you kind of get what, what, what you deserve um, in the market. There's way too much um, speculation going on in the market and way too much gambling happening in there. And I've been hearing from a lot of folks in coaching um, and do a lot of work with individuals and in coaching that they're losing tremendous amounts of money because of this volatility. Guys, 
if if you're struggling here in the market, step back. Um, don't continue to lose money in the market. Step back until you get control of what's going on out there or just wait for better opportunities um, in the market. So that said, make sure you understand carefully the risk of every single trade and you should never ever just blindly someone follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at um, I've been talking about the tractor supply here and unfortunately tractor supply popped through that resistance right there and rejected it. So if you are have been watching this chart, this is one of those patterns that um, I want to pay attention to on a failure. Um, when we fail a major resistance level up here, we don't want to chase this short. What we want to do is we want to let that continue to play out wait for the rally back the lower high is where we want to take an opportunity short in something like tractor supply so keep a close eye on that if we were to get a good lower high pattern in here i might take that one short so keep a close eye on that um, on the short side um, also i think we need to be watching these financials the financials are struggling here tremendously um, uh, bond yields um, very sharp to declines in mortgage applications and refis and we can see that we're continuing to follow this downtrend here in the chart now once again I don't want to chase this is a the XLF financial ETF I don't want to chase anything lower so what I'd want to see is some kind of well potentially a consolidation where I could maybe set up that short underneath the downtrend or potentially a rally back to resistance where I could pick up that potential short so watch that carefully in here and we have some stocks oh my goodness we have some of those stocks that are already making some new lows in, in that chart so your shorting uh, pattern was up in here to take that one short watch for a little rally um, any kind of a rally back that shows that continued failure in that downtrend to potentially take stocks like Citibank short uh, BAC whoops BAC is also very bearish looking chart here um, so any rally back um, look for an opportunity we see JP Morgan um, in a pretty pretty ugly downside pattern here as well so watch carefully for some opportunities here in those financials they're not looking very good and I would say this bond yield inversion isn't going to help at all let's take a look at some stocks that are showing some bullishness however if we take a look at stocks like SQ um, SQ has been an interesting chart for me to be paying attention to and as I had mentioned early on out here that this may have to rest all the way out here to trend and we're coming very very close to that so keep an eye on SQ this is uh, broken that downtrend we're starting to look kind of bullish in here and um, let's watch for that opportunity for maybe to this this to perk up and maybe keep on going. Keeping with that pay system um, area in here, you might want to keep an eye on Visa. Visa also finding that support in here. Now I will say this is a little bit of a steep um, upside trend, but you'll want to watch that in here, that possibility that we could come on up here and retest this resistance in the chart looks like an opportunity and if we take a look at like MasterCard doing the same thing at a nice little push up flatter on that on that trend so I like this a little bit better and holding that support in here so keep an eye on MasterCard there may be some upside opportunity coming here in MasterCard we will have to pay attention to these resistance levels in the chart however so kind of keep in mind I'm not suggesting this thing's going to go to the moon but we could start moving up and testing some of those high levels of resistance um, that staying with that same th theme um, let's take a look at PayPal PayPal nice little consolidating move here sliding out here toward that trend I would watch this for that opportunity that that might take off to the upside so keep an eye on PayPal you might also want to keep an eye on um, some of these commodity um, types stocks um, take a look at Archer Daniels Archer Daniels continue to hold up in a very bullish trend we just can't seem to catch much of a pullback in these charts right now because of the costs 
um, of inflation and, and it just looks like anything ag continues um, to the upside at least for now so watch that carefully you could also take a look at an ETF like uh, Moo M O O um, Looks like we're going to get a pop and drop on that here this morning, but this has been in a tremendous upside move. Um, you might want to keep an eye on like a BMY. BMY, very nice looking chart, continues to move in this beautiful upside trend. It's not one of those that moves real fast, but you'll notice right in here we've kind of rested in a little consolidation and we're sliding out here toward that trend. So watch for that next opportunity that that might be pushing on through to the upside. Also seeing some pretty good moves here in Merck recently pushing up breaking through some resistance in that chart so I wouldn't want to chase this right here but maybe a little resting consolidation in here would set up that opportunity to the upside so keep a close eye on Merck. So there's a few charts for you to consider today. Um, I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day in your trading. Be safe, be careful. Um, just know that the volatility is likely to remain high. You know, I'm kind of crossing my fingers for a nice tight consolidation, but um, I doubt we get that. So everyone have an awesome day. I wish you great profitability and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning.